Nine collocations, eight phrasal verbs, and seven idioms with set. From EspressoEnglish.net Sometimes people ask me to explain in detail the difference between a collocation, a phrasal verb, an idiom, a slang word, a proverb, etc. But, to be honest, that's the wrong question. Yes, all of these types of expressions are part of the English language, but most native English speakers could not tell you the technical difference between them. Instead, the most important thing for an English learner is to know what they mean and how to use them, without worrying about categorizing them in a technical sense. So today, you'll learn various expressions with the word set. Let's start with collocations. You can set the table. That means to arrange the table in preparation for eating, putting plates, knives, forks, spoons, napkins, etc. on the table. For example, kids, could you please set the table? We'll be eating in 10 minutes. You can also set a fire or set something on fire, meaning to cause something to start burning. For example, some fireworks accidentally hit the house next door and set the roof on fire. You can also set an alarm, meaning to schedule or program an alarm to sound, to go off at a certain time. For example, we're leaving at 9 tomorrow morning, so you should set your alarm for 8 o'clock. The expression set sail means to begin a journey on the ocean in a boat. For example, the weather was windy and cold when we set sail from Alaska. Setting a good example or setting a bad example means to establish or show some behavior that can influence others for good or bad. For example, you shouldn't swear around kids. You don't want to set a bad example for them. The expression set a precedent means to establish a situation that will be used as reference for future similar situations. This expression is also used in the legal sense. For example, the case in 1998 set a precedent that drunk drivers should be punished severely. To set a trap means to prepare a piece of equipment to catch an animal or, more broadly, prepare a strategy to catch, trick, or hurt an unsuspecting person. For example, the hunters set a trap for foxes. Set foot means to enter a particular place or step on a particular area. For example, if you ever set foot on my property again, I'll call the police. You can learn more collocations quickly and easily with my ebook, 1000 English Collocations in 10 Minutes a Day. Click on the link in the video if you'd like to see more information. But for now, let's move on to the idioms with the word set. There's an expression that something is all set. That just means it's completely ready or completely finished. For example, just sign the application here and then you're all set meaning you finished the application. We've got some similar expressions, set your heart on, set your mind on, set your hopes on, and set your sights on. These all mean to desire something, to want to get it or do it. For example, she set her sights on attending an elite university. It means she wants to attend this university. It's her goal. If someone is dead set on something or dead set against something, it means the person is extremely determined to do something or extremely opposed to something. For example, he's dead set against his daughter marrying an ex-convict. An ex-convict is someone who is convicted as a criminal. Here's an example of being in favor. My best friend is dead set on getting a dog even though I tried to convince her not to do it. So again, dead set means extremely determined, either in favor of something or against it. To set the record straight means to correct a mistake or misunderstanding. For example, if all of your roommates think that you ate the last piece of pizza in the fridge, you could say, I want to set the record straight. 
It wasn't me who ate the last piece of pizza. If you are set in your ways, it means you have a fixed attitude or routine and you're not very open to change or new ideas. For example, my manager is very set in his ways. He doesn't even like to upgrade the software on his computer. When you talk about plans not being set in stone, it means the plans are flexible, they are not confirmed, not final. For example, we're hoping to go on vacation the last weekend in August, but it's not set in stone yet. And finally we've got set the stage for. This means to make preparations for another activity to occur. For example, this meeting will set the stage for our partnership. Those were just a few of the many, many idioms that we have in the English language. And if you'd like to learn more of them, check out my English Idioms course, which is a fun way to learn common idioms that are used in spoken English. Let's finish with the phrasal verbs. We have set apart, meaning to make something noticeable and distinct from others. For example, the quality of his work is what really sets him apart from his competitors. We also have set aside, meaning to put something to the side because you will not use it at the moment, or because you will use it later. For example, she set aside the dictionary and continued reading the novel. The phrasal verb set back means to cause a delay. For example, we found some problems with the house that set the renovations back two weeks. You can also use the noun form, which is one word, set back, for an event that causes delays. For example, he has succeeded despite a lot of setbacks in his life. Set something down is the same as putting it down. For example, he set the hammer down on the table. The phrasal verb set in means begin to happen. It's often used for seasons, trends, feelings, etc. For example, three months after moving to the city, regret set in. It means I started feeling regret. I started feeling bad about my decision to move to the city. Set off can mean to begin a journey or to cause or trigger an event like an alarm or explosion. For example, we set off on our hike early in the morning. In that sentence, set off means to begin a journey. The ball hit the car and set off the alarm. In that sentence, set off means to trigger an event. It caused the alarm to start. Here's another example. The announcement of the new law set off a wave of protests. In this case, we're not talking about a literal alarm or explosion, but again, something that caused something else. The announcement of the new law caused a lot of protests. It set off a wave of protests. Set out can also mean to begin a journey. It's exactly the same as set off in this context. So we could also say we set out on our hike early in the morning. Set out can also be used for displaying things for viewing. For example, Set out all the products that are on sale so the customers can see them. And finally, we've got set up, meaning to establish, assemble, or prepare a structure for use. For example, the workers set up the circus tent in less than an hour. There are a lot more phrasal verbs to learn in the English language. And if you'd like a natural way to learn phrasal verbs in context and use them in your own English, check out my Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course. You can get more information by clicking on the link in the video.